This is not the music I chose. Minus five stars every day. I can't wait for this next week of disasters. I'm going to recreate the noise, and I want somebody to tell me what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Ready? Watch okay. it not happen now. Here we go. So far, we've got uh, interference from something. That ah. doesn't really help me all that much. Uh, that is bizarre. I don't know what's going on there. Pretty sure we're staying in the same house where the Manson family murders occurred. It's you drive I, up this really I windy. You're not. It's a B, B, BLRB or whatever they call it. What do you call Airbnb. it? Airbnb. Airbnb. And when he goes to throw his chips away, Danhausen is waiting in the trash can. And he was a big fan of the barbecue chips, much like our friend Brian Alvarez. Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti were utterly hated and booed out of the building. And as a result, they had to edit this promo to hell just to get anything usable for television. What happened? Did these fall over? I fully expected that she was going to get the. Uh, Willow Nightingale is all elite. Maybe all that money went to me. After the last couple of days, my paycheck was reinstated. People in the crowd are jumping up and down and chanting Wheeler Yuta's name. Reminded me of a young Cactus Jack match where he's just destroying himself and mutilating himself, but the crowd's going nuts for him. And in the end, he still loses, but they still love him. Is there any update on the AEW bots? <laughs> I'm going to be able to use this bots thing for material for like years now. Lance Storm's dog is pretty great. I never said these people's dogs weren't great. The issue is that Lance's dog has this giant bone that it gnaws on for the entire show. Wow. And so you just hear a It's a huge dog, too. That was so disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You like your glasses, Granny. Reading glasses. Not just a fashion statement, which is what I thought when I first saw him. No. Mm. That's a shame. They are lovely. Adrenaline is in the egg. Happy Easter to only Craig. Whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. That's, that's what he wrote. No. I can't nope. believe it. Nope. 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 Sammy getting caught in a mouse trap. Did that happen? Yes, that Sammy Zayn was caught in a mousetrap. Gunther's and Alonso, crowning Gunther, powerbomb, short, Matt. <laughs> Frowning Gunther, powerbomb. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Wood and Butch. Wood and Butch. Continental forearm. Lots uh, of arm. Continental <laughs> forearm. <laughs> Lots of arm. ICFA. Flying. I gave that dumb thing a five. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, it was, it was Bush versus Wood. Of course it was a five. That was one of my worst reports, I think. Oh, I no, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. If I got a tear in my eye, it was one of the better ones. Research Ninja, yeah. What is happening? When was Dean Ambrose ever a Research Ninja? No, I, the book, there's a Research Ninja portion of the book, you idiot. It's not him being a Research Ninja. Adam goes to the power bomb, and Philip Paulo barely gets a word. Yeah, Adam. Adam Baum. Like his mother's name or his yeah, father's yeah. name was like uh, George Baum. He <laughs> and then they had a kid and they were like, oh, I should name this kid. I got an idea. Adam. He comes That'll be a great name for this young Baum. He comes from a long line of bombs. <laughs> yeah. You just muted yourself. Uh, dude? Uh-oh. What's happening? These pro AEW fans, you do any minor criticism of AEW, and holy smokes, boy, do they get on you. I've noticed that of late. They say paid by Tony Khan until you you have any sort of criticism, and then, my God, you are public enemy number one. CM Punk versus Penta L0M. They had one screw-up in the middle of the match. Other than that, this match was fucking great. And uh, it continues my point that this is the best working CM Punk that I have ever seen. The first half of this before the commercial was like nothing but dives <laughs> by everyone involved, including the giant lizard. The highlight to me was William Regal's facial expressions. <laughs> I told you this last week. Yes, it's, but it's every week and it bears mentioning every week because it's awesome every week. This MGF character is a motherfucker. Well, there's that. There's and that. so Bryce saw him on the ramp and he was like, you know what? It's fucking my decision. I hate this prick. I'm going to start counting. And then, just like Sean Spears, in fact, he goes, 10! And the crowd explodes! So, 
<laughs> Again, like you, I would. It, it's ridiculous and it makes no sense, but it worked so well, I wouldn't change anything about it. House of Black promo, something about his throat is filled with a dark abyss of razor blades and he wants you to be afraid of the shadows. I don't know. People are reacting as if they had watched the Jackie Gata match or the Charmel match or the Rebel match. And dude, there's worse women's matches than this every week on NXT. There's a million people watching the show on uh, national television. And there's a sizable percentage of them who have no fucking idea what, who, or anything about Dan House. What is a better way to put it? What Dan okay. House is, yes. Now listen, I had the temerity to say that we need a video package or an interview. And my God was I shouted down about this. Clearly the check didn't come in this week. Tony Schiavone interviews Thunder Rosa about defending the title oh. against Nyla Rose. <laughs> She hasn't even started talking, and she gets interrupted. That is most promos in AEW. Could you have made Thunder Rosa look like a bigger fucking geek? You cut off her promo. You didn't let her speak. She put the cake in the heel's face. The heel's blinded and still got a hold of her and beat her ass. Total fucking geek. Boy, the check didn't come in this week. I should just quit. Then what are y'all going to do? Huh? Put it on me, Jared. Huh? This is for all of you out there. See that? Samoa Joe versus Minoru Suzuki for the ROH TV title. What beautiful violence. This, if you like violence, have I, I got I like cake you? and violence. This is too... And I got my cake and ate it too with this match. They have an actual present, a gift wrap present, and they go to unveil it, and it is a middle finger in a box. <laughs> I laughed. They just should not have shut off the lights. As soon as you turn off the lights, there's an expectation that when they come back on, you're going to see somebody and you're going to know who they are. Instead, they turn the lights out and then everyone was expecting, I don't even know who, and they got a tall bloke. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, great. All right. Now we can talk all about how Braun Breaker is Rick Steiner's son, but uh, we're not allowed to flat out say that this Solo Sokoa is a do-so. Right. <laughs> we could talk about his bloodline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the fans can chant Uso at him or whatever, but eh, I can't mention that. And then later they had uh, Brooks Jensen out there. He mentioned something about his father. I typed in Brooks Jensen, and then, like, all the suggestions come up. It's like Brooks Jensen, wrestler, Brooks Jensen, father. He's a son of Bull Buchanan, <laughs> the famous rapper. What's his chick's name? What's her name? I have no idea. These fuckers are so arrogant. They think because they told you, you'll remember it. No, you won't. It's one <laughs> person's name. You say it one time two weeks ago. I'm not going to remember when she stands up in the crowd out of nowhere. They cut to her, and she's pointing and going like this. And they cut away, and Von Wagner's in the ring, and they cut back, and she's going... Mackenzie interviews Nikita Lyons in her bosom, and you hear. And Last Legend runs up and boots her in the face. This was shot so well. It, it was, was fucking perfect. It sounded, I thought it was. It sounded great. It looked great. This is by far the most exposure I've had at Pretty Deadly, and I'm already a huge fan. The names are Kit Wilson and Elton Prince. <laughs> it's these gimmicks. <laughs> these total old school gimmicks. Oh, that's awesome. One of them trained with Lance. I think the blonde haired one. And we don't see what they drew, drew but we see the, re see the reaction, which, which is to chant, yes, boy, over and over again and dance off screen. Huge fan. I love these men. And she comes out and they play her music. And this crowd was convinced that Jesus Christ himself had returned to earth. And they're going crazy. It's white hot. She is weeping because she hasn't been cheered like this. The Creeds, they've still got a ways to go. But I like how we're now getting five matches in one day. Let's just keep these fuckers working so they can eventually get to the main roster. Or not, you know, We don't want Randy Orton doing more promos to the media about how these fuckers from NXT can't protect anybody. Yeah, that doesn't do anybody any good. 